God bless you, siblings. As you see in the title, I am seeking some help, but some help with these dreams. Um, so I'm going to just get into it. I keep having, sorry, let me rephrase that. Well, yeah, I keep having dreams with a similar scenario or tone or something's going on. And maybe, I think the Lord's trying to convey something to me. But I was wondering if you guys have any insight or any um, interpretations of this. So, I'm going to get into one of the first ones I remember. This one particularly was with Jesus. This was one of my encounters with Jesus in a dream. I was walking down a hill. Uh, houses on the left side and the right side. Row homes facing this way. And I'm walking down the middle of the street, and I see like almost like a caution tape right at the stop sign uh, from one side to another. And Jesus is on my left side just watching me. And I knew I couldn't cross, but right in that intersection after the stop sign where it was, um, there was a couple cars. There were cars I've never seen before. Um, to this day, I still haven't seen these type of cars. They were like new advance and whatnot. So I looked at Jesus. I, of course, wanted to run to him, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't. Or it wasn't allowed, but I just knew I couldn't cross this caution tape type stuff. Um, and he cut it from a distance, from over there on the left. He cut it and let me know I could pass through. And then it fell down, and I went to, and I crossed, and he said, pick any car that you want. And I looked around, and I think it was a white four-door sedan I found. And I got, I, I, saw, I looked at it, and he said, go ahead, get into it. You can drive it. I was like, okay, cool. So I drive it, and he says, go. So I jump on the highway, and I just start just driving. And there's other cars there, too. And he tells me, all these cars here are yours that I'm driving with. He said, you can drive any one of them. And I drove a little bit more some distance, and then I woke up. So this reoccurring theme with these cars keep happening. I had another dream uh, sometime later that I was... I was I don't even know where I was at, but the scenario was is that I had a, I had a couple vehicles, I had about four or five vehicles, and uh, I just didn't know where they were at. Um, I couldn't find them. I thought I left them in this area that looked like a warehouse area, but they weren't there. So I had a dream again. I'm like, where are these cars at? I know I have more than one car. Why can't I find these cars? Why can't I find these cars? That's another dream. And then a couple of days ago, I had another dream. I think I've had three to five dreams, but I can only remember three right now, where I, I have, where I know I own cars and uh, I cannot find them. That's funny. I looked at the time, uh, minute marker 333. Anyways, so I had this dream the other day, I think like two days ago, possibly, where again, I knew I had about four vehicles and I didn't know where they were at. In this particular dream, someone, uh, I was in a house, possibly my house or my old home or something like that. I don't remember. But my brother, who has passed away, and I think he passed away in 2012, if I remember correctly, he passed away. He was there. And, um, but I, I knew, I kind of knew that it wasn't him. It, 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 in my interpretation, I think it was the enemy. And so I had two cars, and I understood they weren't around or they weren't working well, or I just didn't, I, again, I didn't know where they were at. And then I had another car, my old vehicle. It's a blue Honda CRX, two-seater. I hooked it up. I put a new motor, a, a, a faster motor in it. Anyways, I sold it. Um, currently, my cousin has it. I keep having dreams with that car. But nonetheless, I couldn't find that car. And then I knew that I had loaned somebody my vehicle, uh, which in this case was my brother. And I was telling him, where's my car? And he was like, he didn't want to give it to me. <laughs> And for some reason, there was this white lady there with the blonde hair, and she was just quiet most of the time. Um, I didn't see no harm for her or anything, but I don't know who she was. And she was just observing everything, and I was telling my brother, or who I thought was my brother, where's my keys? Where's the car? Where's my car? And he didn't want to give it to me. He was like, no, this car's not yours. This car's not yours. Uh, or he was saying, sorry, he was saying, uh, you can't have it back. You can't have it back. And I'm like, where's the car? And he's like, I let someone use it. Someone else has it. So I'm thinking, so I'm getting mad. I'm getting irritated. I'm talking to him and angry, like, give me my car. I'm even saying just nasty stuff to him because he's hindering my uh, my vehicle. Um, and then the lady that was there, 
kind of writes down on a piece of paper and says, here's the address, hands it to me and says, this is where the car is at. So I get mad at my brother or what it seems to be a brother. And then the guy who's playing my brother gets mad at the, the white, the, the, the white lady with the blonde hair who gave me the address. Um, I think she was wearing white too. Mm. Can't remember. Particularly. Anyways. So I'm mad because now I have to go walk and go get this car. So I'm frustrated. I go out in the street and I start walking to where this house is. Um, but this house is far. Like, you know, if you're driving, you know, maybe five to five, ten minutes. But now that I'm walking, we're looking at about an hour, you know, or it just it's just what I understood that is going to take me out. So as I'm walking to this, I'm getting even more frustrated because I'm like, look, now I got to travel. Now I got to walk further. Um and, you know, I was upset. And then I woke up. So, again, I'm having dreams. And, again, this ain't the first, this ain't, this ain't number three. I think I had two other ones where I have, where I know I have more than one vehicle. And I don't know where they're at. I can't find them. Um, now, a sister once told me that vehicles represent a ministry or some type of vehicle to get um, some type of avenue or vehicle or ministry of the Lord. Um, so that could be the case too. Um, if you guys have anything on what this could possibly mean and interpretation, anything, please let me know in the comment section. If you want to email me, link is in the description. Um, if you want to Facebook me, Messenger, you can do that. That's in the description. Um, but yeah, I keep having these dreams. I'm starting to believe or starting to think that I have these gifts and or spiritual giftings that I don't know how to access maybe or... I don't know where it's at. So if you guys can assist, point, help me in the direction. Uh, and, or, and, and if you don't know how to answer me, hey, just pray for me specifically, particularly in that avenue. I know the Lord has taught me that I'm going to be some type of pastor. But he told me he told me it's not a traditional church um, online. I don't I have no idea. Um, he's been since been quiet about that particularly. So I'm just. Okay, Lord, whatever you want. Uh, it's starting to rain. And, uh, yeah, if you guys could get back to me, man, I just, I'm scratching my head on, and I'm praying about it. I'm asking the Lord about it, and I'm just pondering it. What are these vehicles that I cannot find that I know I have? And kind of now that I think about it, it kind of points me up to, like, a gifting that I have or giftings that I have. That I don't know how to access or, or I'm just not understanding where they're at. But yeah, I keep having these recurring dreams that, hey, I have vehicles and I just, they're not where I left them or someone took them or something like that. In this case, someone gave it away to somebody else. The enemy took it and gave it to another enemy or something. I don't know. So God bless you guys. Be safe. Again, let me know what you guys receive or interpret or hear from the Lord. God bless.